that John is gay. It's your girl Ash and I am back back with another video, back with another Catherine Tate video. And today I'm going to be watching Drunk Bride. We already know I love Catherine Tate. And if you guys would like to check out my other Catherine Tate videos, the link will be up at the top. If you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, the link will be down in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, you already know what to do. Hit that red button so you can be a part of the family. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Enough of me talking. Let's get straight into this reaction. Right, well, I'd uh, just like to thank you all for coming here today on this, the happiest day of my life. Um, and, <laughs> and, um, I won't say long, because I know everyone wants to crack on with the dancing, but uh, just before we do, I thought I'd tell you about uh, the second happiest day. <laughs> um, the day that Victoria agreed to marry me. Now, I it was going to be a holiday push by from this lovely Greek island. And, Get off! Uh, <laughs> and, um, we went to this lovely little restaurant overlooking the sea, and um, I ordered a seafood platter. Now, unbeknown to Victoria, I took the waiter aside and gave him the engagement ring and asked him to put it on the, the claw of the lobster. Come on! <laughs> Hurry up with your story. Now, when the moment came, <laughs> brought the platter over to the top, put it down in the middle, lifted up the lid, and there... John asked me to marry him, and I said yes! <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> for my husband's fucking dull story. <laughs> it was. It was, though. It was. It carried away sometimes. John proposed to me seven times. Seven! A lesser man would probably have given up by around the fourth, but not my John. Yo! Yo! Seven times? Hell no! <laughs> he must have been desperate. She didn't want you. She didn't... Not my little Johnny. Not my little Johnny. He just kept banging away. Wearing <laughs> me down until finally, to save him any more humiliation, I said yes. <laughs> there comes a time in every woman's life when she says, oh, all right, for God's sake, I'll marry you. <laughs> got up to speak I wasn't sure which one of the seven proposal stories he was going to tell and I thought Christ I hope he doesn't go through them all because although the ring on the end of the lobster claw is probably the best <laughs> it's still shit <laughs> oh my god but you know what they say darling S seven times lucky did, did they say that <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Three times a charm? She's had a few too many. <laughs> well, I'm here look, to tell you. Look how they're looking at her. I've had a few. A few too many. I don't know. I shall let you be the judge of that because I know how much you all enjoy judging. <laughs> to date, I have had 39 all men. Thirty-nine sexual liaisons in fifteen active years. 
I just wish I could remember what number John was. Oh! <laughs> different men you slept with because it makes you wonder do I have a type well I realize I don't have a type unless you can count they all wore shoes <laughs> no, but seriously they all did have one big thing in common what and it's not what you're thinking because I'm including John in this <laughs> but everyone I've ever slept with very, very conscientious about contraception. Even though I'm on the pill, they always insisted that we should also use condom. Now, I thought that's amazing, isn't it? Because subconsciously, I've always been attracted to sort of sensitive, caring, new age kind of men. You know, I care about my body, <laughs> you care about my body. Oh my God. And it turns out they just didn't want to have ginger kids. <laughs> I don't know if there are any other ginger people out there today, are there? <laughs> mm. Do you know any ginger people? <laughs> yes, you do, but they're not here, are they? Because they've got no friends. <laughs> they're all at home gnawing on a turnip. Oh, my God. I know there's a few liberal people out there going, no, 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 no. Let the ginger babies be born. Just don't let them grow up and live next door to me. <laughs> We don't want them bringing down our house prices, cluttering up our nice tree-lined streets with their empty bowls of sunblock. <laughs> what do you think? I remember when we met. Me and him. He said to me, presumably it was some sort of a compliment, he said, I really like your colouring. I think it's very Elizabethan. Oh. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yes. Bad teeth and syphilis. <laughs> Still, a shag's a shag, I thought. Oh, my You've God. You've got to take it where you can get it when you look like Mick Hartnell. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, you know, it's funny, actually, when I... When I sit here and I... I listen to John say how happy he is that we're married and how much he loves me because, like most of us in this room, I've got a sneaking suspicion that John is gay. <gasps> Something that both he and his family are very, very quick to deny. <laughs> wonderful it is to see so many of my husband's family here today. <laughs> no, it's, I'm very touched. My father-in-law, James, hello, sir, who I know is very, very proud that his baby boy has married such a free-loading ginger jippo. <laughs> I believe your words, James. Oh, my, my God. Janice, one, two, one, two, my mother-in-law saw. Fat. <laughs> fat she is. No. And by contrast, no. my sister-in-law, Susan, was a very thin woman. She's so thin. In fact, she's so thin, <laughs> we weren't actually sure whether or not she was here today. <laughs> but I know that she's out there. Because yeah, I can smell the sea. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh no, my god. No, no, no. Talk about the bulimics. <laughs> oh, 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 the disease. <laughs> <laughs> I should also like to thank our best man, Jason, who flew in all the way from Sydney to be here today. And in true Antipodean style, said to me, just before the ceremony, How are you, love? You look great and white. Have I got any chance of shagging you? <laughs> I said, well, you didn't have 
But you do now, you smooth-talking bastard. <laughs> I should like to thank you all for coming and finally propose a toast <laughs> to me <laughs> and all who sail in me. Oh my God! <laughs> hilarious let me tell you it is hilarious because you know what drunk people always speak a sober mind like yo, she said that he was gay she said that she was banging 39 minutes yo, she called her believing oh my god oh my god i can't believe she outed him she outed him at their wedding Drunk people speak a sober mind. Like, comment down below. Let me know if you have ever gotten drunk to the point where you just started telling the truth. Like, you just started telling how you felt. Comment down below. Let me know. Because, listen. <laughs> you get drunk. <laughs> Don't get drunk and be mad at somebody. <laughs> Cause you gonna tell them how you really, really feel deep down inside. Comment down below. Let me know if you ever been through that. And don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, fam.